Hi, I'm Mr. Project TSE. In this video, we will make the experiment about the encoder and decoder remote control IC for a hobbyist. That is an interesting project to do. The multipoise of remote controlling, the encoding and decoding is necessary for design. In this video, you will see about the experiments of the encoder and decoder IC number H12E and H12D by using with the transmitter and receiver module. Let's do it. Before going to experiment, we should understand H12E IC. The HT12E is the encoder IC. The operating voltage is 2.4 to 12 volts. Low standby current is 0.1 microampere. There are many applications. For addressings, there are 8 address bits for address setting, and there are 4 data bits. Easy to use. Connect resistor at oscillator pins. For address setting, you could set bit A0 to A7. Data sets at AD8 to AD11. After trigger pin is set to low state or grounded it, the set of addresses and data will be sent. For the coder IC, HG12D is the pair of HG12E. The operating voltage is 2.4 to 12 volts. The number of address bits and data bits are the same as HG12E. Easy to use. Connect resistor at oscillator pins. Address setting must be same as HG12E. After data have received and be checked. The output of the VT pin is high only when the transmission is valid. You may read more detail to design in IC manual. Next step, we are going to do an experiment in a breadboard. A breadboard for the transmitter experiment contains of HT12E IC. A 1 mega ohm resistor connects at an oscillator pin. We have pulled down data pins by a resistor. The data will be sent by pressing each four switches. A0 to A6 are grounded and open A7 for an addressing setting. A data output pin connects to the transmitter module. A receiver circuit on the breadboard. We use four LEDs for indicating the data state. A 51 kilo ohm resistor connects to oscillator pin. The VT signal is indicated by a LED. An address setting. We set the same as a transmitter circuit. A receiver module receives data and pass to the decoder IC. Here and is experiment. I use 6 volt battery for both experiment boards. Be careful the polarity of the battery when connects power supply. We press switch for sending data. You will see a LED of the receiver circuit turn on. Then we will test a circuit for control direction of DC motor. We use a motor driver to drive a DC motor. You will see the direction of the motor. You can modify this experiment to control a door or a gate. We hope you enjoy this video and helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on a bell icon to get the notification. Thank you.